In this video, we're going to look at word ratio or word fraction questions that look like these that are quite common on OCR papers, especially in astro and thermal, which are on paper one tomorrow. They're not as bad as they look. Once you get the hang of these, they're really quite OK. So we're going to do a difficult example together. And then I've got six for you to practice on. So by the end of that, I think you'll find that they're, I think you'll be quite keen on them. OK, so the first thing that you do is you identify the formula for whatever it is in the fraction. So in this case, it's luminosity of a star. So that's four pi times the radius of the star squared times the Stefan constant times the fourth power of the temperature of the star in Kelvin. The next thing you do is you list for the two stars the variables in here. So the thing, the variables here is the radius of the star and the temperature. We are going to say for star A, we're going to say its radius is capital R and its temperature is capital T. Now we're told in the question that star B has three times the radius of star A. So that means if star A is capital R, star B is three times capital R. And the surface temperature of star B is only half that of star A. So if star A has a temperature of capital T, star B has a temperature of half, half T, T over two. Now we're going to put these values into the ratio but first of all, we're going to cancel everything that is that we can cancel. So we get rid of all of those. And so now our ratio is a little bit more friendly looking there. And now we're actually going to put these values in there. The radius of star A, remember, is capital R and its temperature is capital T. But the radius of star B is 3R and its temperature is T over two. Okay, now we have to do a little bit of algebra very carefully. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16 there. And then if you divide by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by the fraction upside down. And now all we have to do is a bit more cancelling to find that our ratio is 16 over nine. Although that seemed quite long, when you get the hang of them, you end up doing them really quickly. Um, and this one would be worth three marks. I can say that confidently because we've got another example of one like it. OK, um, there, if you print off the questions from the website now, there are six examples of this on the first two pages. Um, pause the video now, have a go, and then I'll go through them in order.